Say hello. <laughs> Gosh. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This one's been a little bit bitey. Why are you being so bitey? I think, I think we're at the teething stage. I mean, he's always been a little bit bitey, but I think we're definitely at the teething stage. So, good morning. I thought I would grab a cup of coffee as I intro the video today so feel free to go make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or something whilst we um whilst we catch up so today was a this week sorry was really busy with work um i have a really exciting weekend planned with you guys so i have done the biggest i actually did the side to get really annoying now the biggest zara haul they had so many nice pieces in it would it would have been rude not to so um I've done that. I've got lots of new bits from H&M to show you. I've also got some new trousers from Abercrombie that I've been wanting to try for ages and everyone's been recommending them to me as like the perfect suit trouser. I did try one of their trousers before and I didn't get on with them that well so I'm, I'm hoping that this style is better. Um, so we're going to try that on together and yeah and then we also have um, a day in London tomorrow which is just so exciting. Um, I love that. We've got um, a day with Georgia shooting, so you can see what we're up to. We've got a really fun one hand, and actually next week I'm looking forward to even more because we're going to some really cool new spots we haven't been to before. So yeah, and then it's just gonna be a very cozy, chilled, um, bit of a day in the life over the next couple of days, what we get up to. You would have seen we just had some brunch before. I've been on a run this morning. I did 30 minutes, I didn't even feel like stopping. I feel like it's so weird that I'm, I've got the stamina there even though I haven't run for, yeah, properly for like four months. So um, yeah, that's been really, really good. And my on-running trainers are so, so good. I mean, I know I said it in, was it the last video or the video before that they feel like you're running on clouds? They actually do feel like you're running on clouds. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the video. Um, we're gonna head out soon and go to puppy training, which I'm hoping is gonna be much better. And I thought we could unbox some flower delivery that I got. Oh my God, we found that I got this week um, and put it in the vase before we head out and then I'm going to do my unboxings for TikTok and then we're going to try everything on when I'm back. We're also going to pop into the farm shop and get some goodies for tonight. So like some really fresh vegetables and stuff to go with like a tofu stir fry that I'll show you how I cook. Um, so yeah, let's get on with it. Okay guys, so this is the box that I received. I basically wanted to order some fake blossom it was quite expensive. I'm using this like little Amazon gadget to open it. It's got like a little sharp thing on the edge, which makes opening parcels a lot easier. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I picked up that H&M set in this navy color. I was actually gonna do a try on for you today, but um, I think I'm already wearing it. We don't need to do that. The annoying thing is, is how much this costs, and I know how cheap you can get this at like, little garden, like, garden centre things. Not garden centre things, like wholesalers. You can get these for like two pounds a piece. So this is what it looks like. And then I want to go put it in my big like h and oh, Why is it Zara home bars? <laughs> the adult, he really wants to play with box. And then what I want to do when we're doing Easter decorating is like hang the bits off this that I showed you last week. Um, but I can really show you when I end up decorating it. But I thought it would be really quite pretty, but maybe I'm going to have to fill it out with some other bits, like eucalyptus or something. So let's go do that together now. I have to admit, for first impressions, I do think this is a little bit of a joke in terms of how much has come in in this like bunch for the price it was, which is a little bit frustrating because um, I know I could have gone somewhere way cheaper than this, but it is what it is. I got. I'll link it down below, but I did get very easily persuaded on the little um, Instagram ad. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over from the bottom. So actually, you just don't want it to be too long coming out. I mean, you could snip them in theory, but it's quite nice to have keep them one length because just in case you wanted to use them in a different way in the future. So yeah, we're going to start to like have this coming all out. I mean, it might be quite nice to throw in like a different kind of flower. And I do have some, so we can have a look at what's gonna work. But what you want to do is you just want to like separate them all out a little bit. I mean, they are fake flowers at the end of the day, so they do look quite real. It 
just means you don't have to refresh all the time. I normally love having gypsodelia and stuff in here, but I thought we would mix it up for the spring season. It's actually looking really pretty. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. I think for the price though, it's not cheap for what it is, but we move. Anyone else just always get influenced by Instagram ads? <laughs> oh dear, what am I like, hey? Okay, so. I guess that's what it's starting to look like. Like this is quite high up, so maybe we want to like bring it down a bit. Oh, and, oh by the way, I am not claiming that I'm um, very good at this situation. <laughs> if my, my, my neighbor, she is way better at this kind of stuff than I am. Um, I just, I'm not the best at all, but I quite enjoy it. So that kind of just sitting on there. And what's nice is that, the like I mean I'm not gonna do it now because I really actually we'll do one we'll do one we'll do one where if you saw these last week if you didn't go check out the video but it's super cute it's like you can just like hang them on here like this I've got loads of different types and like eggs and stuff as well Just hang them like it's almost like a so look how cute that looks love that vibe so this is what it's ended up looking like how cute now obviously there are way more decorations to go on that tree but easter is still just over a month and a bit away so i'm probably going to do that after like valentine's day and yeah closer towards march but i just thought i'd give you a little look of what that looks like because i feel like those decorations might sell out so it's quite nice to see like what they look like in place in your home so yeah i'm just gonna do some unboxings for tiktok now and then i will regroup with you guys this afternoon i'm gonna do all the try -ons. i'm so excited to show you everything um you guys loved the zara haul last time and i feel like this one's even better so just keep watching um and i'll take you to our local farm as well so let's go So we're actually home now. Got home about one hour ago and I had to very, very quickly film my Zara haul for TikTok. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on Instagram, but I had to change into all my outfits and then I realized what I'm gonna have to do is get into all of them again for you guys now so you can see them all. But you know what, I wanna show you guys because there are some absolute gems in there. Okay, I'm trying to not touch my hair. I know it really annoyed some of you in the videos and there's some very nice girls that have said it's fine. <laughs> um, but honestly, I, I know it is annoying you guys. I'm trying not to touch my hair. I really need to stop. I actually think it must be like a nervous thing because yeah, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so yeah, we went to dog training, which, which was actually way better than the other dog trainings that we've done, which was really, really good. And then we went to the farm and got a quick coffee. Um, went into the farm shop, picked up some bits to go on our stir fry for dinner, which <laughs> was really expensive. I know shopping organic is really good and everything, but honestly, like, unless it can be affordable, it's kind of crazy how much we spent on like, I was there, I was like, I'm not gonna go anywhere else, but lesson has been learned. We also got a couple of kombuchas because I'm still not drinking. I haven't drunk since New Year's Eve. I did a lot of not drinking last year, but um, yeah, I just don't have 
I just don't really care for drinking at the moment, so I'm not going to drink. So I've got some kombuchas to go with our dinner. And now I wanted to show you all the bits I got this week. So last week I showed you what I got from Pretty Lavish and stuff. But we are going to go through H&M, Zara. We're going to go through this Zara haul. Then we're going to go through um, a couple of bits from H&M. And then, I'm trying to think of everything else. I might save my Abercrombie parcel for next week now, just because of the light. Um, I've actually got a very nice light that is, you can probably see it as I move my hand, um, that is actually giving me light right now because it's so dark and gray outside, even though it's only like 3 p.m. and it doesn't get dark till like 5 p.m. now. It literally looks like it's about to rain. And thankfully David has bought this light for himself and I, he was like, why don't you use it because then your videos will look a lot better. And like last week when I was doing my closet clear out, it was looking rubbish because I didn't have a good light in my bedroom. So hopefully this is a little bit better than if I wasn't using it. So let's go through what I got from Zara. I'll try on the piece by piece. Um, honestly, there are some really good gems in there and I... I want them all, as always. Guys, first up is this navy blue boucle jacket. And I actually got this in the white in my last haul a couple of weeks ago. And then it was crazy. I posted on TikTok and so many girlies were like, they have it in grey, they have it in navy. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't know that. So I went and picked up this um, navy version. I wanted the grey, but you know what? I don't wear grey enough. So anyway, I thought... It would be like super cute for when I go to Copenhagen because it's going to be a bit warmer hopefully by then um, and not like a really heavy coat. But then maybe do I need two? I know you guys loved the white last time but I think they're just a great, a great jacket. What do we think? I, I personally really like it but honestly you let me know if I should keep it or not. It was £45 and yeah, I think they are like really cute little jackets and they're really smart as well. Not only do you, could you wear them on the weekend or for like a city break, but you can also wear them to work if your work allows, like it's if your work's not like a suit suit vibe. You could wear this with some jeans and some boots, you could wear it with a satin midi skirt, you could wear it with some nice suit trousers and a t-shirt, like you can dress it up a little bit. The only thing is, is I am, a gold jewelry girly and these is hardware as silver but you can mix and match i really don't think it's a huge deal so yeah that's the first item what do you think now, the second item i'm not even going to be able to try on for you guys because i tried to try them on it wouldn't fit me i am a size eight in all other zara trousers i actually out of anyone i know i'm like the biggest advocate for zara jeans because i never ever have an issue with their sizing until today <laughs> i have a bone to pick with them no honestly it's fine i feel like it's not always to get they can't always get it right, but these are 36, so an eight, UK eight, USA four. Don't fit me, I mean, I could always size up. I just wanted, I have some black jeans from there, but they're almost like a bit of a gray tone and they're gorgeous, they're like a really nice fit. But I just wanted a jet black pair and these aren't jet, jet, jet black, but anyway, they are more black and I just thought they'd be really cute, but I am leaning towards trying Abercrombie again. I've heard so many good things and I feel like I just need to give them another chance. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect black pair of jeans, so if anyone has any recommendations that are like not tight or anything, like straight legged, high waisted, flattering on the body, then please help me because these, I'm not even gonna try them on because they didn't even, they got over my bum and stuff, but they didn't even drop. So yeah, Zara needs to start sizing because they are definitely not a size eight. Okay guys, next up is this brown wool cropped-ish, well, short jacket. And I don't love it to be honest, it's quite itchy. And you can't fit loads of, and you can't fit loads of layers underneath it because, well, you probably could get like a small cardigan because it's not really the style for it. And this is double the price compared to the boot play jacket, which was just a lot warmer. Well, not so much warmer, but it was more, it felt like thicker and stuff, but this is really nice because it is wool, so it is really good quality. Um, and it is really soft on the outside. It just feels a little bit itchy. You probably need like a long sleeve top underneath it. Um, so yeah, it is really nice. I just think for 80 pounds, 
you could probably get two boot tape jackets or something else and that if you're looking not to spend like too much um so yeah it is cute i mean it, what would, it would be paired really really nicely is like a black mini skirt as well um but it is quite cute you know now i look at it a little bit more i am really liking it but i think it's going to be a no for me just because of the price and there's so many other nice pieces in the haul that i really want to keep so if I'm not like 100% I'm not going to keep it and I actually already have a brown coat a little bit similar from Naked oh but I actually do really like it okay I need your opinion on this comment in the comment box down below if you think I should keep this actually just let me know what you think on all the items and then I can decide what I keep and I'll keep everything until this goes out next week so we can decide together okay girls be prepared to run to Zara ASAP Honestly, this is the cutest top I think I've ever bought from there. And I'm not even over exaggerating. First of all, it's like a cute v-neck, gorgeous with a necklace. Second of all, it's kind of got these like puffy sleeves and it kind of goes like inwards here, gorgeous. Am I on the third one? Third of all, it cinches in the waist, which, you know, I need personally. Not everyone needs it. Fourthly, you've got cute little no the opening here then it does up beautifully with like little hooks so it doesn't show anything a little something something but it is gorgeous it's soft it's comfortable i actually think it's a really classic piece you could wear it out for dinner you could wear it out in the day it's like it's honestly gorgeous now i did get the matching skirt <laughs> now i did get the matching skirt a mini skirt and i thought this would look cute on me but i'm not loving it as a two piece i actually prefer the top as like a standalone piece but even so this soft this skirt is super soft i think it's really it would look really cute on some people as a two piece just i just wasn't feeling it and it's quite short and i don't know how much wear i would get out of it as much as it is like cute it's not like my favorite so i'm definitely not going to keep the skirt but the top is a hundred percent a yes I don't think I've been this certain on a piece of item for a while, so yeah, I'm loving it. I'm going to shoot it in London tomorrow, of course, because it's gorgeous. And yeah, I will leave the codes below because you need this if you can get it. I thought I would show you a couple of bags. I actually picked up two of the same bag in different colours, but I wanted to show you them because I think they're really actually nice and you can get them personalised with your like initials on, which I thought was really cute. So you, it's like a black bag with a gold clasp and open it up and you actually have so much space. You have a black chain and then you also have this like canvasy one. It does give me like they're trying to do like the Dior canvas bag, which came out like four years ago that everyone had. Or is it like the saddle? Yeah, Dior saddle with the canvas strap. Um, it probably wasn't canvas, I probably butchered that completely. But anyway, it is really cute. I think it's like a perfect going out with the girls weekend bag, but you can also dress up and like add the other strap if you don't want it to be like so casual. And then I picked it up in tan as well for 35 pounds, guys. I think this is a great deal. Like for the girlies out there that really, it's so expensive. Designer handbags have got out of control and it's just unrealistic in this climate to think that everyone can afford them. And I just think these are a gorgeous alternative. And you put them over your shoulder, so stunning. I actually think they're really, really nice. Um, <laughs> I've got both of them on. But yeah, I mean, trust me, don't get me wrong. One day I might post about buying myself a designer bag on here if I can afford it, but I have bought them in the past and you know what? As much as I love them, I think you've just got to be so careful of the ones you choose. Don't get me wrong, I would love like a Dior, or, or actually not so much Dior actually, like a Celine Triumph or something. I really do want one. Um, but I have my Pelines and I, well my one Pelin and I'm, my one Pelin and I'm hopefully getting another one this year. And I think they're great, but these are even, even more cheaper than your Pelines, but then obviously not handcrafted in the same way. Um, and you won't get the same quality, but I think they are a fantastic, fantastic alternative to your higher end bag. And also M&S do some great versions of similar ones like this as well. Um, and you know what, the gold isn't too tacky either. Like it's a little bit brushed. So I think it's actually okay. So let me know what you think of these girls. I actually think I'm gonna see if Georgia wants one. Who knows? I don't know if she'll want one. 
but yeah they're super super cute and i might decide on i don't know which one i should keep what do you think i think obviously i can't keep both but which one do you prefer i actually think i might prefer the tan but i know i get more wear out of the black so but they are really affordable so we'll see anyway let me show you the penultimate, penultimate item from Zara. So the penultimate um, item is this jacket. Now I've been on the search for like a white maxi coat. Is that what you call maxi long line coat for ages? And I actually picked this up in a medium, hoping it was going to be oversized. But I think because it's quite like a structured blazer type coat, it has actually ended up being quite well fitted, if that makes sense, rather than like being able to fit loads of like jumpers and stuff underneath which is a little bit annoying I kind of wanted it to be a bit um more oversized so I should have probably gone large or even <laughs> not even extra large I don't know anyway I actually think it's super nice though I am really liking the fit like in terms of like the structure of it and I, I think like I could probably get away with it so I actually think I might keep this I think it's just like shipping from the back really cute and like let's well i don't want to try them on today with white trousers but i can imagine like wearing white trousers my celine belt a black top feeling very like chic and smart so i actually think i'm gonna keep this one let me know what you think anyway i've come on here to show you the final items so i picked up this olive green suit from zara and it's quite cute actually again i picked this up in a medium i might gain weight or something because i know i haven't but like um it's quite well fitted again and it's cinched at the waist which is really quite gorgeous actually because you know me i'm more like an oversized girly but it's quite nice having a bit of um shaping to my clothing rather than it like just drowning me all the time but yeah so this is the suit um it comes with like some gorgeous trousers that are really like comfy and well fitted although the only thing is is they don't um, you can't really put a belt around them if you wanted to wear a belt with them. But I think this is perfect if you are like an office girly or you just want to dress up <laughs> um, in office clothing. But I actually really like this. I think it's gorgeous. It has really well with gold jewellery. Um, black, you can put like, a white t-shirt under here, white tank top, whatever you want to do. I think you can be pretty flexible on like the shoes as well, whether it's ballet flats or um, heel. I've got black heels on with them, but you could wear different coloured heels because it's quite a versatile colour. Um, so yeah, all in all, I think it's a really great two-piece. Whether I'm going to keep it, I don't know. I think it looks cute, but I don't know how many times I'd wear it. And I'm really looking to just build like capsule pieces that I'm not going to throw away or put on Vinted in a few months' time. So, as much as I love it, I'm not 100% sure. But if you guys think it looks pretty good, maybe I will keep it. Um, let me know. So yeah, this is the two piece um let me go and get my two bits three thing two three things from h&m that i bought this week that i've already unboxed and tried on and everything but i just want to really show you so you can have a look um at them and then i think that's it for the unboxing hauls today all right guys i'm really losing light here so i hope this light is saving me and it looks better than i think it looks on the camera right now but let's go through my h&m order um how many pieces i have one skirt one jacket and a cozy wear piece to show you and i actually have another big haul coming next week because they're just killing it right now i'm honestly obsessed so i'm actually going to shift you down slightly so what i've got on right now is just one piece from h&m and it is this maxi black skirt it's got a slit in the back which allows you to walk <laughs> tried and tested and I've paired it with my Celine belt and um, my oversized naked fashion blazer that I wear all the time. And when I say this is so comfy, so gorgeous and perfect for the office or going out for dinner or just really wanting to look chic, it is stunning. I think these dresses, these dresses, these skirts are really going to be in fashion this season. I think they're super flattering. Um, they kind... They kind of remind me of like the denim skirt trend from last year, which I tried to get on board with, but I wasn't able to because I just found them quite uncomfortable, um, even though people looked incredible in them. Um, but this material is kind of like a suiting kind of material and I actually think it's so elegant and chic and 
definitely a must have. It was a little bit more expensive. I think it was like £44, so more expensive than their normal skirts, but we are investing in capsule wardrobe. And I think this is a capsule wardrobe piece because I can imagine it with like an oversized coat. I can imagine it with a shirt. I can see it with a white t-shirt. I can see it with tank tops I can and blazers over the top. I can see it with, maybe that's it. I think that might be it. But yeah, I can see it being super versatile. Oh, and I think you could vary the shoes, but I actually think I'm always wear a boot with them because I'm a little short. So that's the first piece I love. That okay, guys. The final piece is this like short coat in an ivory colour. It's so soft and warm. I think the colour is gorgeous. I think the coat is gorgeous. I love the detailing here, and it has like a tie waist belt. It's nice and oversized. It's so warm. The only thing I'm gonna say about this is that I wish it was a maxi coat. And because I just feel like it stops too too soon. I just wish it was way longer, like so cozy, tight. And with that being said, as much as I love it as it is, I'm gonna return it because it's gorgeous. But I, I know I would want it in like a maxi version. So if I don't want it like this, then how much am I actually gonna wear it? Um, it is really beautiful though. So if you are looking for a really nice jacket like this, then definitely pick this one up. It's a great, great coat. I just, it's not like my favorite. I think the pockets are fab as well. You can see from here, just like pop stuff into them. They're really deep, really wide, get loads in there. But yeah, so that is it for the haul. We are gonna have a little bit of an editing evening. I've got a job that I need to do. It was really important. I did want to get everything on Vinted tonight and I keep saying this and I'm, I haven't done it still. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. I'm in the office on Monday so I have no excuses but to do it tomorrow night. And I think Sunday's quite a good time to upload because hopefully those people will be active on Vinted. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's just my thought process. So yeah, and then I need to pack and prepare myself for tomorrow because I am shooting with Georgia, as I've already mentioned. And then I just need to sort all of this out because obviously some of it needs to be returned and stuff, but I'm gonna wait for all of your feedback. So I need to go put it somewhere safe and out the way um, of Theodore. He, by the way, is absolutely conked out. Let me show you. So first of all, this is the realities of filming. This is what I'm using. It's like this light thing. And then <laughs> I put a duvet down for him. We actually just started watching something really good on Apple TV last night. It's called the criminal record criminal record we watched two episodes and it's gripping so if you want a gripping crime murder kind of situation go on apple tv and watch criminal record it's really really good anyway i am gonna go sort myself out and i will see you guys in there
morning guys i have just got to london um it's raining so i don't know how much content me and george are actually gonna get i haven't even brushed out my hair let me brush out my hair with you guys um i also thought i charged my camera last night but obviously i didn't thank god i brought a charger with me so i can charge it in the car in between shots um so that's great but yeah, I am very casual right now. I need to get into my look because I just wanted to be casual when I'm driving. Um, so yeah, we are, we're going to Layla's Bakery first. Going to go get like a nice pastry and catch up. And then we're going to go shooting. I just hope that the rain holds off. Living in the UK is getting really annoying when you're wanting to shoot content. But I am um, looking forward to spring and summer. I just had a lot of like spring looks to shoot. And seeing as it's grey, that doesn't really work with the vibe. Um, but it has stopped drizzling for now. So fingers crossed for us. I'm going to go drive around because George is in like a different area. And just go meet her now and get changed. And then I will take you along to Layla's. Layla's is one of our favourites. So you guys are really going to love it. Georgia. I got the cinnamon roll. I normally go for the cardamom bun, but they didn't have that today. So I thought, let's try something new, and I do love a bit of cinnamon. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I went for. And then I've got a flat white, and how cute are these cups, and pistachio chocolate roll, which is just right up my street, as we all know. And then we got cookies for later. Okay. Where are we going to go? Over there? Yeah. I think Pembroke Crescent's quite nice. I will run back and get mine. You sure? Yeah. Minimal carrying. Just saw some police. <laughs> saw crime, crime in action. I always get worried because I always think that we might be driving too fast. Well, no, I just, I just have an overriding guilt conscience and I just start panicking like, what have I done in my life? Like, I'm suddenly going to get people. Oh, yeah, guys, I'm not allowed to touch my hair, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. Gross, RIP. <laughs> I think this is really cute, actually. Yeah. Delphi, can you give us a little breakdown of your outfit? <laughs> Hi guys, okay. so we're going for look number one. Um, we didn't show you our looks in Nailers because it was a bit chaotic, I'm not gonna lie, it was raining, lots of people. So we thought we would come to the streets and shoot. We're hoping, I feel like the sun's trying to come through, you know. You know what, it's breaking through. I've got Zara top, you would have seen us in the hall earlier on in the video. Zara jeans, Zara boots, naked bag, Indian thing sunglasses. Georgia. I've got Celine Sunny's a Cosliner coat, Zara bodysuit, Zara jeans. I love that I'm wearing boots and Georgia's still taller than me. Like, yeah, honestly, I'm still taller than me. I'm just a shorty. Oh, oh well. Anyway, we are going to get changed into. I'm getting into a dressy look. So, well, I say dressy, I'm putting some heeled boots on. So. Okay. Getting, and then we're going to Soho home. We're going to go for the aesthetics. We're going to go for the vibes. Get some street shots. Excited to go somewhere different. Yeah, somewhere different. And this was different. Well, it was slightly. different. And then where are we going after that? To another cafe. Chai Bake House. Chai Bake House. Which oh, the cross I I know we're already we eating at Layla. And then we got a another coffee. Oh, Do you like chai? Yeah, I love chai. Oh, apparently, this chai is like the best. Okay. Ever. Okay. I mean, I don't know who said that, but I just said it now. So keep watching, and you'll be able to see that. And then we're going to another another place. Yeah. So we're literally Bean. giving you the tour of like the best aesthetic coffee places to go in London every every other Sunday, basically. We need to start a blog, like an online blog, <laughs> we actually like back do. in the day. We actually do. I think we'll do really well. <laughs> yeah, that would be good, actually. Because Instagram, you have like Instagram guides, but they scrap them now. I know. Anyway. I'll consider it another thing for us to think about. <laughs> As if we're not busy enough already. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Georgia, we haven't actually talked through this look yet. Let's do this. Okay. I have We've got on a basic from H&M. Yeah. Zara jeans that Delphi I'm actually surprised it fit my legs, obviously I'm quite tall, I've got long legs. Um, belt, sleep belt, can we say? <laughs> sleep belt. Um, Aldo heels I got in a sale from £150 to 50 quid. Wow, that's a winner. Um, Cove is actually top shop. Love. It's a woolen trench, I think it's really nice. Stunning. Um, bag for Olivia sales and the glasses are new look. Gorge, 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 gorge. Right, let's see what my look is well. Okay guys, look. 
bag which they kindly gifted me and I actually love it. It's like a little Amaze Jeep, you know, really cute. Then I've got my mango coat on, but actually I was wearing for the look a blazer with this. Um, so I've got this H&M like twill maxi skirt which is perfect for like the office and stuff. Celine Bell, matchy matchy with Georgia. H&M basic tank top and then some the same Zara boots that you saw earlier. Sorry, show me the boots again. Lovely. And then some jewellery, same sunglasses. That coat is just so gorgeous. Basic bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and Jeb, behind the scenes of filming. Right, what's next? So I'm going to get changed. Can I wear your brown coat next? No. No, of course you can. Can I? Let me, I'm just going to do a fit. Georgia is at the end of her tether. I actually think she was going to punch the phone onto the floor a second ago. Yeah, please subscribe us more. <laughs> you know what? It's a bit of entertainment. Well, there seems to be an issue every time I'm in your vlogs. The first time I spilled a coffee or something. I don't know what. I'm just chaotic. Okay. You probably don't want to watch my channel. But um, we're here for the chaos. Yeah, Life's not a what? smooth ride. Literally, it I'm, can't be perfect. We're not perfect. We're not. We're not. And today's really proving that. <laughs> my hair is far no, you were perfect to me. <laughs> Honestly, I can't. I can't. <laughs> So elite, especially on pizza, like unbelievable. Mm. Hey, guys, um, so I've had this before. It is just tomato and basil sauce, but it is really good. <laughs> Everything just really good. Look, some again organic pesto, divine. <gasps> Even this olive oil. Oh my god, I'm gonna drop it on I. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so cute. I will be going to Dalesford soon. The real Dalesford. I need to come so with you. I've not been to. It's so nice. You do need to come with me. We're gonna. I think we might do a trip there this year. Just like two days away. That'd be nice. Anyway, we are done. That was a long day. That was hard today. You know what? It's just the weather. It is the weather. It just ruined everything. I'm yeah, I'm seriously giving. Um, Woman on the way to work, saying you're gonna change your shoes at the office. <laughs> That's me! I actually wear mugs into the office these days. Um, guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing in a second. It's. Alright, guys, yeah, I have gone so baggy and comfy because I'm over it. I've got my sunglasses on because I'm just like, it's so cold. Look, look at, look at the wind. We're done. It's not ideal. I've got fourth and reckless large hoodie on, Zara jeans, Uggs. This is. This is the reality. Right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I actually don't think I'm going to bring you to Atos, so I will see you later on in the video. Good morning, guys. It is now Tuesday, so the last clip you'd have seen me on Sunday, hey Theodore, in London, and I was over it. I mean, first of all, it was windy, the weather was really, really bad, and we were trying to shoot five, five looks, and Notting Hill can get really busy as well, and I just felt, you know when you're just not feeling your best self, my hair was a mess, my makeup was a mess, and I was like, I am over it, and I think you can probably tell. And I also just wanted to show the realities of what like those days can be like, because you know what, people will take the take jokes out of it and say it's like not real hard work and stuff, but it is actually quite exhausting. Um, but we put ourselves through it and we're doing it like all for free, it's not like we're being paid to do it, it's just to build up like our own personal brands and stuff, so, yeah, I mean, it's a lot. I'm um, just trying to get Theodore here to say hello. He's a, hello, come on, say hello. Say hello. <laughs> hey. Okay, so I just wanted to, yeah, come on here, wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching another really long one. Um, 
and I will see you guys next week. Lots coming next week as well and stay tuned because I have a very exciting announcement coming. Like so exciting but yeah stay tuned and please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next week. Bye! Thank you.